Hey Bison, today we're going to do two science experiments using plastic baggies. But before we get to the science, let's get our hands warmed up for the day. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Open up your kind mouth. But do not let them in. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your cheek, cheek, cheeks. Cover up your bright eyes and through your fingers peek. Our hands and our body and our brains are all warmed up. Let's get to the science. Now this first experiment is a really fun one, but it could get a little messy. So I'm going to protect my table by putting a container beneath my work area. You may even go outside for this one. I'm glad we warmed up our hands because we're going to need our finger strength. Get a plastic baggie and some water. We are going to open the baggie and pour in the water. Let me show you. Once the baggie is full of water, I'm going to seal the baggie. I get out my pinching out, I hold the bag with one hand, Start at one side, pinch till you hear a click, and slide across. Now the water is sealed in the baggie. The next material I will need is sharpened pencils. Now, what would you say if I told you we are going to take the sharpened pencil and poke it all the way through the bag. What do you think will happen to the water? Do you think it will pour out? Will it spray like a fountain? What will happen to the water in this bag if I poke a pencil all the way through it? Have you made your hypothesis? Your scientific guess as to what will happen if I push a pencil through, then? Good, you have your idea. Now let's test. I am going to use my hand strength to poke this pencil through the bag, through the water, through the bag on the other side. Here's the first one. Ready? Did you guess that no water would spill out? Where is the water stain? In the bag. But where is the pencil? Going through the plastic bag. Oh my goodness, we got one. Let's try two. Same thing. The pencil's all the way through the bag but the water is staying inside. Three, four, five. Well, there were a couple drips, but almost all the water is still in the bag. Six, why is the water staying in this plastic bag? Let me tell you why. This plastic bag is made of a material called polymer. And a polymer is stretchy. Where you put the pencil 
through, it makes a hole. But the bag is so stretchy, in its material, it stretches around the pencil and seals the water in. Amazing! No water is spilling out of this bag. Now here is the fun part and the part you really may want to be outside for. Let's pull the pencils out and see what happens. Whoa! Now the water is spilling out of the holes. The seal is broken. The pencil has been removed and the water is pouring out. How many pencils can you push through your plastic bag without the water spilling? For our next project, we're going to make kind of a lava lamp. Now, what is a lava lamp? It doesn't have real lava from a volcano or our earth in it, but it kind of looks like red hot lava looks. When the lamp light bulb heats up, bubbles start to form and dance within the lava lamp. We are going to simulate that today in a plastic bag. Now you can make this two ways. One uses an ingredient after we are done mixing. And this special ingredient, you have to have an adult to use. This is a bubbly effervescent medicine called Alka-Seltzer. And we're going to use it as the last ingredient to make our lava lamp bubble. If you don't have it, yours will still work. But if you do, get an adult to help you use this ingredient at the end. Now let's get started. You need a plastic bag, some water, some food coloring, and some cooking oil. First, we are going to put water in the bottom of the plastic bag. We do not want to fill the bag over half full. So we're going to eyeball it. That looks like a good amount of water. It's in the, there's half, and it's under half. Top, bottom, it's under the halfway mark. Now, I'm gonna add my color. I like that it looks kind of like lava. So I'm gonna add a couple drops of red. One. Two, with a gentle squeeze. That already looks neat as the food coloring settles into the water and begins to mix. Ooh, now I think I might want an orange. What color should I mix with red to get orange? Yellow. Let me add a couple drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five. Yellow is kind of a less saturated color than red, so I needed to put a little more yellow than red to make my orange. The red's a little brighter and stronger, so I needed more of the yellow. Now I've got my cool lava color in the bottom. Next, I'm going to pour the oil on top. What will happen when I pour the oil in the bag? Will it mix together? Will it sink to the bottom? Will it float to the top? Will it make bubbles? Hmm. Let's see. So I pour my oil. Whoa, I see lots of bubbles. Whoa! In the top. And I'm gonna hold my bag. Whoa, where did the oil go? The oil went to the top. Why is it on top of the water? Can I tell you? The oil is lighter than water, so it floats on top of it. Will the oil mix with the water? No, that slick surface of the oil does not like water. When 
I mix it together, I can see bubbles forming just like in the lava lamp. If you don't have Alka-Seltzer, you are done. Close your bag with your pinching L, slide it across, and have an adult put tape, especially a strong duct tape or packaging tape, over the top. And you can play and see how this mixes and mashes and bubbles around. But if you do have the Alka-Seltzer and an adult, we're going to move on to the next step. Have an adult help you get out the Alka-Seltzer tablet. You only need one to start this experiment. We're going to break it apart into little bits. This is only for our hands. We may not put any part of this in our mouth because it is an adult medicine. That is why you have a grown-up with you watching you, helping you stay safe as we use this special ingredient. Now this has baking soda and citric acid in it. And when those ingredients combine, they start to bubble. Now, something really neat is gonna happen in our bag when we drop in little pieces of the Alka-Seltzer. Do you have yours all broken up? Okay. Now with an adult, and they might help you hold the bag, you drop in pieces of Alka-Seltzer and they will sink to the bottom where they begin to react with the water. When the water touches them, what is happening in your bag? Do you see something moving? Bubbles are floating up. Yeah! Like the lava lamp video. Let's add a few more pieces and really watch this reaction occur. The bubbles from the Alka-Seltzer are traveling up through the oil. They're carrying the color of the water. It's moving before our eyes. What an amazing reaction. And it's so fun and calming to watch. It looks almost like the surface of a faraway planet. Some of the bubbles are beginning to fall back down. I am mesmerized, amazed at watching our chemical reaction. Have fun trying your own today and making a neat lava-like experiment.